We are standing before the lair of the fat official. The fat official that killed me in the last episode of Demon's Souls. Um, welcome back everyone. Today we're going to uh, try not to screw this up. This guy is pretty fast. He's got a fast trigger finger. But now we have better weapons. We're dealing more damage. So this should be slightly easier. Where the... Where the hell is my bot? There it is. Damn. It's like some Bloodborne shit. Uh, your bloodstain is kind of difficult to see in this game. Uh, and that's why I'm saying Bloodborne shit, because... That was... Really a Bloodborne thing, where this... Your fucking bloodstain was like impossible to detect. Anyways... We are winding down towards the end of this area. So I'm gonna definitely finish this world here. And then we'll see where our kind of mind takes us. I have some ideas to go outside the box a bit. Because now there are certain areas that used to suck for certain reasons. In that they were dark, laggy, impossible to tell what's going on. Well, those areas are not exactly like that anymore, so... Why did I come here? This is where the dude is, but he dropped down on... Yeah, whatever. What FZs? What FZs? The Chris Blade is somewhere here, right? Shit, yeah. Not that I'm ever going to need the Chris Blade, but that's the one. And you get to it in like some weird way. Right? I think so. Or maybe I'm overthinking this. No, 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 yeah, you gotta like... Not do anything special. Okay, well officially I'm stupid, so... Ignore my ass. Seriously, ignore my ass. Can't even see my ass here, but ignore it. Because this boss is a bitch. So... Should be easy enough. But then again, I've said that a couple of times throughout this playthrough. And usually when I said it, it's never been like that. My big goal here is to stay in human form for one fucking area, because something I've not managed to do so far. Armor spider. Oh yeah, this is so much easier. You can actually tell what the fuck is going on. Shit, that looks good. Come on. No, you wanna. Oh, yeah, you can attack him outside of. Yeah, okay. Forgot, yeah, you can attack this bit normally. Oh, fuck. Oh, what? what is he doing? Oh shit, no, he killed me, damn, okay, well, that confused me, because that's not what that attack used to look like, and I thought he was going for the, that attack that like kind of traps you in a spider web, okay, well cool, listen, I put my hands up, uh, that was a completely fair death, no complaints there, it's just the attack looked different and... Like, you know, when you're very much... <clears throat> like, trained on something. You're trained to look out for certain things, or something very specific. Like that attack. Uh, changing the look of it can... Oh, hey, treasure. Can throw you off. That's where that thing is? Okay, well... Every playthrough you learn something new. 
Uh, it's something I'm never ever gonna use. But nice to have. So really the only issue is this fucking fat official. But I think if everything, yep. I was gonna say if everything goes right, you can just like waltz past him. And these guys really don't, they're not mobile, so... Don't worry about them, like, following your shit. But I really gotta go get some healing items, because the boy's running low. I know I said that in the end of the last episode that I would go farming, and I didn't go farming, did I? Well, whatever. You're honestly unlikely to ever be in trouble in this game, really, like gameplay-wise. Because of the healing system. Because you can always just, you know, pop in the Boletaria 1-1, do a couple of rounds, and you will be good to go. It's kind of one of the main kind of things with this game. What am I doing? Fuck. Cool. You should pick up my body. Get that. So he always does two of these, and then he starts charging, right? Yeah, he do. He do. See, now I, now I know what actually to look out for. It's easy enough. Old game, it always used to be the problem. You could never tell how far this extended. Because the graphics were, like, not the... Oh, God, I hate that. Still allows... I thought it's still allowed. Oh, does that hit OTG? It hits OTG. Yeah, we're using fighting game terms here. We're all about the fighting game terminology here. Don't, don't even worry. That was a weird thing, it like throws you. Eh, whatever. It's dead anyways. Easy. Easy, easy. Even like this is easy. We have our buddy. Let's get a shit ton of... Upgrade materials we're never ever gonna use. This spider stone. I think this is the one that's only used to upgrade uh, bows. It makes, I think, the sticky bow, it's called. I'm not exactly sure what it does. Oh, and this lighting in this game is crazy. Cool. Well, we're going to get the hell out of here. Um, because the next area for this area, or like for this world, is actually quite annoying. So there's that. Apparently people said that you can just, like, uh, store your shit in this game automatically, even if you get overburdened within the game world. Which, honestly, is so fucking good to know. Because that's one of the most annoying things in this game, when you, over, when you get overburdened during a level. Yeah, I, sh I should take this, right? Or keep this. I don't know why, but I feel like I should keep it. I wanna get a magic spell. Magic. Let's get this. 
uh, a tune. Cool. I do like me some weapon buffs. I'll be honest with you. And this looks should look sick. Um It does look sick. I'm a fucking Harry Potter miner. Not mine or with an O, but with an E, miner. It's how we do. That's kinda cool. Still need to get the fucking 12 faith. So we have that to look forward to, but we also have Ostrava to look forward to. Was a grand kingdom. See, he's a ghosty ghost as well. It freaks me out that you can see his eyes. It freaks me out. I don't remember this dialogue. Maybe because I always skip it. Probably that's the that's the case. I always skip it. Here in Volataria, we speak of the legend of the two swords and the solitary hero. I have an urge to skip this right now. One sword banishes that which befouls man, and the other banishes man himself. The solitary hero is old King Doran. King Doran is the everlasting one, founder of Volataria and protector of the two swords. Except he lost one, the idiot. But in the dark state of our land, sometimes legends are all we have. Cool story, bruh. So anyways, this is the twist I was planning. Let's go to the Valley of Defilement. You would think, Mr. Sketchhead, this area sucks. And in the main game, or vanilla game, as it shall now be referred to, it does. But, I want to come here because I have high hopes that this shit is fixed now. That this is an actual area and I'm not going to be tearing my hair out trying to go through here. The main thing is, in the original game, this is... Oh shit, go for that. This is another one of those areas that's like very muddled. Half the time you can't even tell what the hell is going on. Because of the visuals. And I'm like, yeah. This is already looking much better. Like, I can tell there's a path here. There's no issues. Come on. Um, Are you fucking... Rewind that. God, where is YouTube rewind where you need that? I, 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 it's obviously not what I meant to do. Uh, you can very much tell. I forgot that this game is like... It's like Neo, that the turning is not... Like, when you turn, your character moves a little bit, you see? Uh, it's like Neo, because in the other Souls games, the turning is instantaneous. You just kind of like snap without without covering any distance that's a beautiful death oh hey do I have a solution to that I don't have a solution to that motherfuck and of course the shitty thing is that uh, things like poison and toxin in this game they reduce your healing effectiveness as well. I think to half, yeah, to half. Everything heals only half what it's supposed to. I'm an idiot for coming here, aren't I? I think I am. This area hasn't... I mean, visually, it's... Ugh, fuck, I'm... What's going on, man? I've apparently... forgotten how to play this game. 
or like lost my ability to play this game. This is a straight going straight to world back black world tendency. What? Did you just break my shield? No way. Or break my guard. Okay, so ignore what occurred in the previous like five minutes, I think. None of that shit happened. None of it. We can continue now and actually continue. Did they fix the ladders? That's my question. They did not. Are you fucking kidding me? They left even the goddamn ladder mechanics. Because if you don't know, Demon Souls is kind of sort of infamous for its god awful ladder mechanics where it takes like four minutes to climb uh, like a three foot ladder. Apparently that stayed. I gotta get the treasure up there. I'm gonna leave that shit. Oh man. Putting me to sleep. Yeah, this is what I wanted. Morning star. Don't even think about that shit. I didn't even know you were there and I still managed to dodge you. You can probably tell the boy is a little bit less confident in his Demon Souls ing ability based on the previous little the previous couple of minutes that is insane I shouldn't come here I, I shouldn't come here like this is how much damage is that dealing probably because I'm like really low because I've put points into every stat aside from my like actual HP. Cause I feel like one of these like anorexic idiots punching me shouldn't deal that much damage. I'll just speed run this. See, again, I don't remember this area being this difficult, ever. What happens when the big guys start showing up? Those are like the real... God damn it. Okay, buff up. Still takes two hits either way. I, I, sh I should just, again, like logic would say, get the fuck out of here. Um, you can't do this. But this is souls. We don't do logic here. How, how did I even die there? We're leaving. I'm I'm abandoning this area. Well, that was demoralizing. Very very demoralizing. Um apparently I cannot play this game. 
Oh shit. And I gotta go farm too, cause um yeah. It's just not happening. What I'm gonna do is uh we will wrap it up here. I know, I know, I know. Short episode, but I don't want you guys to sit through me farming healing items. Man, that was demoralizing. I don't know what's going on. Like, it's late at night, but I'm not tired or anything like that. But apparently, I'm unable to play Demon Souls. So I think it's better to call it a day while I still have some dignity. I have zero dignity actually left, I think. So we're gonna do that. Thank you guys very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this episode of Demon Souls. We will pick it up back from here tomorrow with a longer episode where I'll actually be able to make some progress. Take care and peace out. Oh, and by the way, like, comment and subscribe and do all the usual. Peace out.